Hi everybody, Nancy here. All right, thought I'd show you what I did today. I mean, that's what this group is, this uh, channel is really about. But most of, most of the time it's about me <laughs> having to do a video so I don't forget next time how to do something. You know, I could kick myself. I can't tell you how long I struggled today trying to come up with how would I do this? Create a book with just my favorite pages. You know, and the reason I even want to do this, I did a, um, uh, in 2016, I did a calendar hard copy in a, I can't even think what the book's called now, but, um, and I love it. I love it so much that I still have it. And it's not so much about um, what I did, except how I created what I did, how I showed what I did for a day. You know, if it, if it snowed one day, I would put the snowman from Frozen on it. Cute. I did a good job on that one. <laughs> you know, and if I ordered something, I'd have a picture of it or whatever. And I just love the way I created it. Well... I've gotten to the place on digital, the, the difference is on that book, you can just kind of thumb through it. I love that. And I was trying today to figure out, well, what could I create that would be something like that so that I would get more enthusiastic again? Because honestly, right now, I've pretty much stopped doing that altogether. I am down now to one page per month for my <laughs> for my uh planner. I've just stopped having any interest in it. So because it's different, you know, it's like I used to do all um the art journaling in my Bible, my real Bible, and I would thumb through it to see different things that I had created before. And there's a there's just a warm fuzzy about being able to do that to a hard copy. So today it's like, I've got to figure something out. And um, so I have done a lot of pictures in my Bible that, you know, whenever you look at it this way, sure, you can look at it this way and see that you've got a lot of stuff done. But um, it's not the same. You know, it's just not the same. Now, I don't think that what I've come up with is the solution, but it it's getting closer to it. Um, I'm trying to move. Hold on. I'm, I can't talk and do at the same time. All right. So, I finally, I mean, I thought about bookmarks. I thought about tags. I thought about um, uh, the table of contents using that to do it and we have the answer already see that's what most of the time we already have the answer we just have to remember that it's there <laughs> and because I have not used this feature that much and certainly not that often I, I forgot all about it until you know it's, it, I get suddenly so I get a oh god why didn't I didn't think that already and um it's using this, if I click on the uh, selection menu, create page grid. Well, of course, you know, I, I was even saying to myself, I just need to create a grid. I need to create a grid. And I was thinking I needed to, because there's other ways to create grids where you do the table and then you import the stuff into the table. And now you've created a grid. You know, and that's the stuff I was focused on. Well, I finally got to the right answer. And I want to do this video so I'll remember next time. <laughs> because this was painful. All right. Now, I accidentally hit. I See, that I was going for the create page grid. But notice that there's an add tabbed pages just above it. And I accidentally hit it. Well, as soon as I hit it, it was like, no, 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 that wasn't what I wanted. But I went ahead and hit create. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did just to get it off the screen. And suddenly I've got all these tabs. Ah, 
God, that's what I need. So now I decided to go, let's go create page grid. Now I've got the pages. Again, it looks like the other um, pages page, but it's the pages for a grid. And you, you, uh, I have to get past the ones I just added. Those are before, I added those before um, any other things in the Bible. I messed up. And the last time I did this, before, when I was doing this for real, I made it a sub page. And you talk about impossible to find. I had the hardest time after I did it. It's like, now where did I put it? You know, so it, it was a sub page and I couldn't find it. But anyway, let's say, for example, I, I just select some things. These are pages that I have already done something with. And I'm just selecting them one at a time. Now, they're not all finished. I can see that. Um, and then, and once you get that selected, all the pages that you want to chunk together, go ahead and hit OK. And like I said, you know, that we've been able to do this. I just forgot. Then do create. And now I'll make it fit that page. And now I can move on to the next page. Just do my right arrow and continue on and do the, the create page grid again. And you want to be sure and remember to clear it out because see it keeps all the ones that were already selected and the easiest thing to forget is that you need to clear it okay so now I've, I've done Genesis now I need to go to well I had a lot in Genesis but let me go to Exodus and this is tab 2 um, just because that's the way this thing created now see look right see this Exodus I'm going to go ahead and click that well, no, I'm not either. I'm gonna, I'll come back. I'll say that and then do that. And I'm just scrolling, looking for pages that I know I want to put together. Okay, and do okay. And do create. Make it fit. So now, basically, <coughs> what I'm doing is on each page I'm adding a new thing so if I go to my exodus which is where the the one that I created it has all of them done already I go to exodus see that little sub document right there you can't find that that's hard to see whenever you're looking at this page full of 2,000 pages and and you know you've got other um You've got other uh, sub documents, and unfortunately, this particular one, it was blank, so you couldn't see it. It was just a blank thing, and I didn't know how it worked. I honestly, so this is now it. If I open that up, double tap on it, and see, there's Genesis. I go to the next page. And I'm able to see all of the pictures I've already done. And I can go really fast, kind of, sort of, like, thumbing through. Not exactly, but, you know, it's, it's not spread out like it was before. So that makes me happier. I, I was not happy having to scroll through all those pages. And I'm just going real fast on the right arrow to turn the pages. See, now I've, I've reached the end. I don't have anything on these pages. So, um, I just did that for each book of the Bible. This is what I've got already in uh, Timothy, 2 Timothy, and this is what I've got in Philippians. And I, I'm able to look at it. That's what I like. Now, what I don't know is how to break that book out. I'm hoping either one of you guys know how and you can tell me. I would love for you to tell me. I forget if there was a way. I don't remember it. I'm, I don't know if I had to start. Wait. If I had to start um, with a new book 
I think that might have been what I had to do. But then this way, because I was inside this inside this Bible, I was able to just real quick select the pages. So I like being able to do that. Now, if I go here to this, see, because I did not make it a sub-document, I'm able to see real quick um, the 21 pages that I, or however many that I created. But see, I'm on, I, I opened up this and all you see is 34 pages you don't see the um i'm still on the sub document so i'm only looking at the 31 pages but if i go back to that's what was so confusing I, it was like well where are the rest of them i have 2,000 pages in this document so what i have to do is click on Genesis and see before Genesis is where I put all these pages so now I can click on one and I'm back to the beginning ah. <laughs> so the moral of that story is be sure and create a whole new page to before like all I did was create a new page so if I was going to do this right now I would do the plus to with the left arrow to give me a blank page and then I would go to the um, create well the add tabbed pages and then they will fall in here at the beginning of the document not as a sub document <laughs> so that you can't find them all right um, now, I mean, if you're smart enough and you've got a better memory than I do, and you knew that you put it on the first page of Genesis, you know, well, okay. And that really was what I had started out doing. I was going to do, um, each book of the Bible with its own pictures at the beginning. But as soon as I realized, well, I could do this in this, tw this 21 pages that I created, I think it's 31. It's like, oh, no, I like that better. I want to be able to thumb through it. That was the whole point. So, anyway, I hope y'all understand <laughs> what I'm trying to say here. So, let me go back to Genesis. Because I'm at the beginning. Uh, I've, I'm like two or three pages. Let me see. I'm one. See, I've, I'm... 31 pages away from Genesis right now. And it's the first book of the Bible. But see how nice this is to be able to see all these pictures? Now, something, I don't know if you know this or not. This is one of those, well, I didn't even know that kind of things. If I select this right here and I hold down on it and I drag it to another tab, it will, um, and I let go, it will open up that document that you just drug that to and, and see there, there's a double tapped. Where'd it go? Well, I don't see it. So that makes me wonder, well, where did it put it? I think. I don't know where it went. So forget I told you about that. Um, let, let me try it again. If I go back to. Let's see. And I'll be, see, that's my one page. That's my planner now. That's all I've got. I accidentally hit it. But just because I'm, I'm kind of, well, I don't do anything except, you know, what I'm, <laughs> I do a lot of videos, but so I don't need to track that. That's the point. There's so little that is really necessary that I remember that I don't, 
uh, it's not worth it to me to do it. So if I select that again, see that, okay, that's a link. That's the other beauty of the um, having these pages like that. They're linked to these, so I can just go, or they are, you know, right through, so I can do this number and then go to that page and it'll be there. See, love that, love that feature. Oh my gosh. But um, let me see. I'm going to select this. Well, let me select this one because it's easier. And just make a, a copy of it. Get the plus green. And then drag it onto one of these tabs. There it is. Okay, it opened it up. Now I drop it. That's what I was doing wrong. Now, there it is. All right. So you have to keep holding on to it until it actually opens up the tab and then you can drop it now why it keeps disappearing on me is a, it's another thing why did it where did it there it is i select it and it comes back i don't know that's that's like maybe a bug i'm not sure um i don't know if there's something over on that side yeah i bet there is there's probably a layer that it's going underneath so you don't see it on the right side that's not on the left side. I think that's what I'm doing wrong. See, if I pull it back over and I tap off, then see layer one. Um, there's probably something above that. So if I turn off, I'll, ooh. Let me put that back. Be done. Layer one. Huh. Unless it's, yeah, see, there it is right there. So that was, it's going to the back of all that stuff because they're above it. All right. Just takes me a minute. All right. Anyway, that's all. Y'all have a great day here. Bye.